Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am coming to you today with a video about how to reset your root password for ESXi version 5. I believe this works with root 4 and possibly 3. I'm not too sure about that, I haven't really used 3. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, I do not know my password anymore. And so I am going to reset it. So first thing you want to do is you're going to need a bootable live installation of a Linux distribution that you can boot to. I will go ahead and power this down and change the CD-ROM ISO that I have currently mounted. I am probably just going to use Ubuntu or something. Uh, let's see here. to images. Uh, let's see here. We'll just use Ubuntu 7.0 32 bit that'll work. So mount that power on the virtual machine. Let it boot, press escape, activate the boot menu, load from C D ROM. Here comes Ubuntu. Try it without installing. Uh, press the escape key to interrupt that live installation when you see the icon at the bottom or any key at all really give this a second to boot up hey guys so with Ubuntu fully set up and ready to go on the desktop screen you're gonna want to bring up a terminal prompt Let's use that and I usually just switch over the root as it's just a live install and you have really nothing to worry about so um, to get into a live root, uh, root user, you're going to want to set up this password form. So you're going to want to do sudo space pass wd root, and then you're going to type in the password that's going to be for root. So my password's password, easy as that. And you're going to jump over the root with the password you just created. And there you go, now you're in root. So ls, you're in your home folder right now. Just jump up to forward slash and then you're going to want to see here that if you run fdisk with a, a gpt partition as a hard drive you're only going to have one partition and this is esxi but there are about seven more partitions that aren't being sold right here because this is gpt and fdisk does not like gpt so in order to see the other ones um, I mean, you could mount dev SDA, but what we're going to look for and change is not in SDA, well, at least for me. But uh, if you were just, if you installed ESXi normally, then you're going to probably be looking where I'm going to be looking. So uh, in Ubuntu, go to the system menu, and then administration, and then uh, click on Gparted. Gparted will show you all your partitions. So right here, these are the, the other um, seven partitions. And the one that we're going to be looking at, at least for me, was SDA5, which had it. Uh, SDA6 looks very similar, as the size is almost identical. But uh, boot SDA5, and we will look for the file that we need to change. And if I, st if I just said boot, I mean mount. So to start doing that, uh, type in mount, and then forward slash dev SDA5. And then you're going to want to set a location to mount it. I'm just going to use the mount folder and boom. So to uh, see that, you can just do ls space hyphen l mnt and boom. Here are all the files in that partition. And the file that we're worried about is state.tgz. And so, hold on just one second, there's a cat clawing at the Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, yep, here we go. We're back in our partition. Anyway, so we're going to jump over to the temporary directory after. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'll jump over to temp. Or in temp. And we're going to want to copy that state.tgz file that's in the, de in the mount folder right now. So, copy c cp uh, forward slash mnt forward slash state.tgz and, and voila we now 
have state.gzz in here. Um, I don't know what these other files are in here for, I guess it's just from the local partition, the local uh, install. Anyway, we're going to want to untar the state.tgz. So tar and xzf state. And you can just fill in with tab if you like. And boom. So what that actually un um, tarred to was local.tgz. And we're going to actually want to untar that as well. So you just up arrow twice if you want. And then change state to local. And ls again. And that just gave you etc. Um, ignore this as I already I was testing something. So it's already here. But anyway, this is your etc folder that's just untarred from the local folder. So cd into the etc. And here you are. Now right here, this is the file that we came all the way here for. This has uh, the accounts and the hashed passwords that are encrypted. And so what we need to do to reset the root password is just to edit that file and delete the encrypted password. So. Um, the editor of your choice you may very well edit this file with. I'm just going to use uh, nano because nano is awesome. So anyway, just nano has more more space to show anyway. So nano shadow. Okay, so with the shadow file now opened in nano, you're going to want to look um, right here, right after the semi or with this colon, and you're going to want to scroll all the way over. I just have to press the end key. Yeah. As it goes off the screen a bit. I don't know what to just fix that, but anyway, it ends right here as this is uh, another colon that it's the other colon that ends for the other um, has part of the password. So to just reset the password, you're just gonna wanna delete all of this all the way up to the other colon. It should have this other string of numbers with another colon, another colon, another colon. Anyway, once that's gone, you should just have uh, nothing in between those two colons, and so you just want to write that to disk, x out of that, and then you want to back out of this uh, cd backup, back up one more time. And so now. Okay, backed up too far. All right, so here we go. Now, so what we're gonna want to do is put the etc folder, which I can show you one more time. We're gonna want to tar this back up into another local.tgz files. So you're gonna want to type in tar space c z f space local.tgz, then the folder that you're going to want to tar or compress, which is etc that we have right here. And so enter. And this should now be updated, which is 605. Yep, that's right on. OK. And now you're going to want to put that into a state that tgz file. So you're going to want to type tar again, and then CZF, then the file name that you're going to make it, so state.tgz, and the file that you're going to compress, which is local.tgz. So that's now done. And if I do another ls, you'll see this 6 am change to 6 06, like so. And now you're going to want to copy that back into the mount directory. So uh, or you could move it if you want, but I'm just going to copy it. So copy state.tgz and then into the mount folder, um, right? Like, just like that, and boom. So if we want to verify that this is the same file that's in the mount folder, let's just jump over. Actually, we can just do this because Linux is awesome. And boom, 607.
Um, but yeah, it was the time it was modified, so it was a minute off. But anyway, that is now done. Um, so what we can do now is U mounts just to unmount this uh, partition. So U mount forward slash dev forward slash SDA five, and we are now unmounted. Yes. Just make sure that nothing's mounted right now. So we can now close out of this and halt. Ubuntu to shut down this machine. Thanks, Ubuntu. And it's now shut down. Jump back over to edit settings and then switch this over to. No, you could if you didn't want to, but you don't have to do that. But I'm just going to take the ISO off. And the ESXi is now loading up. Just a moment here. It's not using as many resources as it could, but uh, you can skip ahead if you want. But once this is loaded up, if you did everything correctly, this should load just fine like you normally should see it loading. And when you get to the prompt, if you're trying to get into the configs or uh, change any settings or shut down, You'll be prompted for the root password or just the username and ex the username and password. Um, you could um, actually do this for any account that was in that shadow file. Um, but once that prompt comes up, all you have to do is just press enter. And you could also jump into ESXi from uh, vSphere, which I have right here. So. You just change this over to the correct IP and do the name of roots and leave the password blank as you just reset the password, which is nothing. So log in, ignore, and connecting, 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 loading inventory. Voila, that's nice. And anyway, as you can see here, the default password for root has not been changed. So it's Right now it's basically back to stock settings, so you can now go into root and edit, change password if you'd like, or you can just use the window over there. But anyway, let me set up a password, password, which is so secure. Password has now been changed. Let's just try logging in here. See if you try it now without a password you'll get invalid password. So let's just log in with password and voila. Password has now been changed successfully. Uh, yeah. So if you want to see anything else besides um, this video or if you have any other um, suggestions for videos like this, send me a message or if this video is unclear to you or if you have any questions about it, also send me a message or post a comment. Okay, well, thank you for watching and have a nice day.